Okay, so let's go back to the box. Okay, we'll bring that up. Let's uh, hit numeric. Okay, now say I want to make UVs for my box. If you don't know what UVs are, uh, the UV coordinates, uh, it's something that you use later on when you're doing texturing, when you say you want to apply uh, an image map. Normally that's what it's used for. Okay, and you can control how your image is placed on the actual physical uh, polygons. Okay, so right now if I click Make UVs, okay, the tool is not active. Click and drag in the viewport to set initial values or press N to activate the tool with its current values. Okay, that really doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense. We're dragging it around. Okay, nothing's happening. Click Make UVs. See. Okay, so that's not really, really doing anything. So, what what actually needs to be done here so that we can activate the Make UV tool is that we have to actually make a UV for the actual box. It actually has to have a UV name. So you have your W button down here, which is Weight Maps. T for Texture. We're going to use the T. Texture map is along the same lines as a UV map. So let's click New and let's do call it Box Tests UV. Okay. And we could select different types of uh, um, maps. Uh, let's try a, I don't know, an atlas map. Okay. And let's click Create. Okay. So let's, uh, let's get out of here. Let's... Uh, delete this. Let's drag out our box again. Notice our make UVs is you can actually you can actually create the UV now. So let's click on that. Okay. Now what's going to happen is this name here is connected to this make UVs button. So now that it's it's selected and we actually gave it gave a UV name. It will actually um, use it. Okay, so let's hit the space bar. Okay, and let's go over to bottom window here. Let's go to UV texture, and there you go. Those are your your UVs right down here. Okay, generally I don't really use this feature. Um, I usually sort of do everything manually. Uh, those of you who, who like to sort of automate some of this stuff, um, there may be some basic reasons to use that. Like I said, I, I, I actually don't, but in case you do, um, you can generate um, UVs with this specific um, process. Okay. So we're going to delete that out. And we're going to move on to our next tool.